So, you love bricks. Your life is full of them, but you wish you could just make your own. Not a problem. Offset controls staggering. 0.5 means the staggering bricks are placed halfway between the non-staggered bricks. That is why when you change it to 1 or 0, the staggered and non-staggered bricks line up. Frequency is how often the staggering happens. If we set this to 3, you will see the stagger happen every 3 rows. And if we set it to 5, you will see the stagger happen every 5 rows instead. Squash controls how wide the bricks become. The bigger the number, the wider the bricks. Likewise, frequency controls how often the squash appears. If you leave it at 2, it affects every 2 rows. If you set it to 3, it affects every 3rd row. And if you set it to 1, it will apply the squash to all rows. Color 1 controls the lightest colored bricks. Color 2 controls the darkest bricks. Mortar is the color of the separation between each brick. The larger scale is fits more bricks into the image but makes them smaller. Mortar is how big the lines separating each brick are. The larger it is, the thicker the separations become. Likewise, if you drag this to zero, the separation lines will disappear completely. Mortar smoothness affects how sharp the separations become. The lower, the sharper. The higher, the more blurry the lines become. Bias controls how many bricks tend to be like color 1 or color 2. The higher you go, the more bricks will be like color 2. The lower you go, the more bricks will be like color 1. Brick width controls how wide the bricks are. The difference between this and squash is that this is applied to all bricks, whereas squash only applies to the rows depending on your set frequency. And height controls how tall each row becomes. You're done. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.